The Mafia Manager by V. The Mafia Manager by V is the first book to present the pragmatic philosophy and leadership principles of the men who organized one of the largest, most profitable, and long-lived cartels in the history of capitalism, organized crime. The book gathers the wisdom of the ruthless mafia bosses whose genius at organization and management contributed far more to profitability than did the brute strength and violence. The Mafia Manager is also called the guide to the corporate Machiavelli, since its useful advice and strategies can be used for climbing the corporate ladder and reaching the highest ranks. Last but not least, The Mafia Manager is a grimly, brutally humorous book that makes it a much more pleasant read than the regular business guide. Please subscribe to our channel and like this video if you find it useful. We thank you kindly. We will also leave an Amazon link for the book in the description below for your convenience. The book commences with topics about managing yourself as an individual, since a true leader has to first master himself. Then it continues with practical advice on managing others once you've assumed a leading role. Find a job. Find a job that suits you. A job from which you can begin to manage your wage at the top. Beginner's rules are simple. Keep your mouth shut and eyes open. Observe the world and learn how people in it act and react. Shape yourself. Acquire the tools you'll later need and eliminate the traits that will hinder you. Find a mentor. You can tremendously speed up your way to the top when you have a mentor. If the man you respect is capable, follow his lead. Support him. Let him protect you and carry you under his wing. Show respect and act as a subordinate. Speak when spoken to and to his point. Otherwise, stand quiet. Office politicking. Before you become eligible for the big promotions, you need to establish your status and respect amongst your colleagues. Be a friend to everyone, but watch out. Whether you think so or not, there's always an office mate ready to whack you. You must know how to defend yourself. If you want to be the manager one day, Make no long-term close friendships, but be cordial to all. Don't stand out, fit in. Even if you believe top management is inadequate and there are injustices, at this level in your business career, you want to set out most battles. Tolerate, survive, and lie low. The hunter's surest weapon is patience. Be ready to take on projects where others failed. Make sure your unit's productivity is noticed within the company. Shave off dead-end projects to someone else with an argument like, he has always been interested in that. The office grapevine is the most reliable source of information. Make allies in order to have as many informants as possible. This will be especially handy when dealing with a rival in your department. You'll be warned in a timely manner and will be able to begin your counter moves before your rival has the time to make his move. Time Management the three basic rules of effective type management are Schedule your tasks Delegate them Delegate more of them Choose the time of your day when your energies are highest and conduct business at that time. If you must do something at a time inconvenient to you, be brief. Do nothing more than show up and reschedule. Find an advisor Every top manager should have a senior advisor an individual with broad experience and practical views. Most importantly, someone you trust. A counselor is someone who stands at a distance from your immediate problems and concerns, far from your emotional investment. Because of that, he can help you identify the nature of the problems and see the bigger picture. The counselor forces you to think and ask questions, and he usually advises counter to the conventional wisdom. More often than not, he will be right. Decision Making To make a decision, large or small, get the best information you can about the nature of the problem, the facts, and the available courses of action, and their consequences. Then solicit the views of others, consult your advisor, and think about it for a time. Your subconscious will work on it, and after that, you decide on the basis of what your gut tells you. More often than not, your instinct is right. Problems do not ever base your plans on achieving the best possible outcome. For major problems, assume the worst possible outcome. If you can afford these, proceed. Otherwise, take timely action and try to control what happens. The biggest problems usually originate from people. 
With people, it is most often possible to manipulate them. The prudent manager will always concentrate his efforts on keeping his people happily well-bribed, in line, and loyal. When you have to deal with someone and want to make an example, make sure everyone knows what the lesson is. Punish one, teach a hundred. Hiring people. Once you've reached a managerial position, sooner or later, you'll have to hire people. You'll find that most people are more incompetent than you expected. Nonetheless, people, with all of their failings, are what you have to work with, and on them depends your success as a manager. When hiring people, keep in mind that you don't have to employ anyone who's hard to get along with. Nobody hires anybody for anything except to make money for themselves from what that person can do. And there are always at least a dozen people out there that can do the very same thing equally well. You have your choice. For a truly responsible job, hire a person who already has demonstrated an ability to work with others. For jobs less critical, hire a good attitude before experience. Once you've found the right soldiers, make them your children and look for loyalty. After loyalty come ability, skill, and competence. Loyalty. Your job as a manager is to make your employees identify their interests with yours. You cultivate the loyalties of others by showing them that their profit lies where yours does. You do this by punishing them when they fail, rewarding them when they succeed. Remember, ambitious people lack lasting loyalty. Naturally, they want to displace the person above them. Use promotion to find out more about your employees. Power acts like a cancer on human beings. It enlarges their sense of their own worth and wastes away other, better qualities they may have until then. Leadership In leading people, the test of your success is not building trust or credibility, nor is getting others to like you. The test is achieving your objectives. If you treat your soldiers too kindly, they will rebel eventually. Treat soldiers roughly and they will follow your orders willingly. Most people see kindness as a weakness. They respect strength. Show respect, but don't get too familiar. Be prepared for betrayal from anyone in your staff, but especially from those you have the most trust in. Every betrayal must be punished quickly and publicly, otherwise you lose your credibility as a leader. If you want to change something in your organization, start with yourself. Show them how it's done. It's easier for people to follow if they know the boss is doing likewise. To increase the productivity of your team, help your workers plan their work and set their objectives right. Don't encourage overtime. Friends and enemies. By the time you assume a higher management position, you should have all the friends you need. Friends acquired after you become a top manager are doubly suspect. At that point, you'll need allies. Never place your trust in anyone else. Always think the worst of your enemies. You must destroy them quickly and thoroughly before they start plotting against you. Not to fear your enemies invites disaster. Negotiations. If you understand human nature, all negotiations become much easier. People respond from greed and out of fear. Patience is a key element in negotiations. Drag negotiations as long as you have to, to tire your opponent so he's willing to make concessions and give you what you need. Never give away your cards. Play your opponent's weakness as an individual. Play the man himself. Don't sweat the small stuff. Give your opponent a way out, a way to save face, while getting him to do what you want him to do. To summarize, an exceptional leader would be a man who knows how to keep things to himself, a patient man with inner strength. A man who studies human behavior and remembers everything for possible use. A man, shrewd and clever, who possesses self-control, who does not seek confrontation but chooses the right moment to crush his opposition. Thank you for watching. If you find this video helpful, please share it with us in the comment section below. We appreciate your feedback. Tell us in the comments what is your favorite book? Can't get enough of reading? 
Find us on Facebook at facebook.com readandgrow1, and also on Twitter at twitter.com readandgrow1.